So now I'm trying to figure out where I can fix this uh, display. Uh, the only thing is I need to have access from the back to tighten the screw. So I remove this here. And there is plenty of space in the back. And I can run the cable directly to the battery. Actually the battery is just behind this bulkhead. So most probably I will put it somewhere here. Actually I need uh, 54 mils, uh, the diameter of this uh, bit, but the only one I have is 52. So most probably I will just open it and will try my best. I'll try to put it in the middle somehow. perfect because I need to have access from the back yeah. okay I will clean up and make sure that uh, it fits in place fits perfectly good okay final cleanup and we connect the cable so I managed to pull the cable all the way till here I just need to connect this and screw this bracket And the idea is to put it and connect like this from the back and screw it in position. We'll see how it goes.
And this is how it's connected from the back. I will just plug should have power. Yeah. Here we go. We are charging 2.4, 2.2 amps, 279.6 amp hour out of 280, it's almost full, 99.9. Okay, let me put some load. I switch on the navigation light. Actually, it is just the fridge running. 0.2 amp. The fridge is running now. So, because I'm solar, it is saying that I'm still charging, but actually I am. The fridge is running. Let me put the navigation lights on. This is the deck light. It's taking 3.6. Rest of the navigation lights. 3.7 amps. <laughs> In instruments. Water pump. <clears throat> Amazing this little thing. I'm so happy with this device. Actually, I was considering to buy the Victron, but uh, this is just 40 bucks. I said I will give it a try and uh, we'll see if I'm not happy, I will buy the Victron. But seriously, I'm super happy. If you like the video, please subscribe and like. It helps a lot. It's a free way to support my channel. Thank you so much and I see you next time.